on the Prius. Again, it's so damn dark. I apologize, people. We got some new Bridgestone Ecopia EP20s. This is the tire that is most recommended for this car. It is a low rolling resistance tire, which is necessary for fuel economy. So that's what we did. We got four of those Ecopia EP20s put on the car. And that's something I want to talk about real quick as well, because I had a lot of people saying, man, it's not worth the money. Don't waste your money buying those tires. Those tires only last like 30,000 miles. It's not worth the fuel economy. You're only going to gain about five miles per gallon using these tires, and it's going to cost you more in the long run. I disagree. I think too many people underestimate the expense of losing miles per gallon on, on a hybrid. You buy a hybrid to save gas money. So why would you sacrifice fuel economy to save money on something as important as tires? Um, I think it's a bad idea. So I went back with what was recommended for this car, which is approximately 30,000 miles, uh, a Copia EP20s. And I got these for about $320 delivered to my door. So the price was very reasonable for these tires. And from what I understand, having the right tires on this car will gain me approximately five miles per gallon. That's huge because right now I'm only getting 41 or 42. So assuming we gain the five miles per gallon out of these tires, you know, we're looking at 47 or so miles a gallon, which puts this thing much closer to where it should be. The next thing, we had a four wheel alignment done on this today. And as it turned out, the alignment was off. The alignment was off on it, but Firestone got the alignment back on track. So it now has a good four wheel alignment. That's definitely gonna be worth a mile a gallon or two at a minimum. So that makes me very happy. Next, I wanna talk about some of the plastic pieces. Um, again, I know it's dark, but this is one of the aerodynamic pieces from under the car, it was broken. Pieces are just broken on it. So I had to order another one of those. And this piece right here was just, this thing is ridiculous. This piece was dragging the ground almost. I mean, every time you hit a small bump, this was just grinding and dragging. Someone had held it together with a coat hanger. I don't know if you can see it. We got a, we got a coat hanger down here and it was held to the car with a coat hanger. This thing was screwed. Um, I was a little upset about how much it cost for those plastic pieces. Uh, but when it was all said and done, we're also missing a side shield that wasn't there. We're missing multiple clips that hold the, the shields on. So all said and done, um, that big, that big piece ran me a little over $200. This little piece was about 40. The side shield was about 30. Um, but all said and done with all of the clips and I ordered them directly from Toyota, uh, the clips, the side shield, the under shield, the front bumper shield, and four spark plugs, which are iridium laser plugs. Yes, we're going to do the plugs on this because it's got, it's at the mileage where it needs to be done. And I know it's gonna be a pain, but we're gonna do that together. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna be doing the plugs on this as well as putting all these plastic pieces together. I mean, all in all, it came out to like 300 and, I don't know, $320, something like that. So not too bad. And again, missing all those aerodynamic covers may not be a huge hit on, aer on the fuel economy but you're probably still looking at two to three miles a gallon because of all the turbulence under the car that's supposed to be negated by those plastic covers. So when you start adding in, you know, five miles a gallon for the tires, call it two miles a gallon missing the covers, there's seven, you know, uh, the alignment being off, maybe another two miles a gallon, that's nine miles a gallon, guys. Is it expensive to replace the tires and the plastic pieces and do the spark plug stuff? Sure, sure, you know, 300 and some dollars, but it's not that expensive. When you consider you're getting back close to 10 miles a gallon for this work. So in my opinion, it was worth the expense to pay the money to recoup the MPGs. It's gonna be worth changing out those spark plugs. Yes, we're gonna take a look at the EGR valve. I haven't decided if we are going to tear into that EGR valve and EGR cooler to do the cleaning and service on that. Um, we'll come to that later, but I just wanted to give a couple updates on the two cars that have been getting the most interest on the channel. 
Last but not least, I look like a hot mess today. Please forgive me, I intended to go to the junkyard today. My brother and I were gonna go out to pull apart LKQ because we know where an RX-8 is that's still complete. Like nobody has taken any parts off of it. So we wanna go out there and see if we can, you know, yank the speakers, yank the stereo, maybe yank some solenoids, maybe yank that SSV. Um, and, and whatever else we might need, the air pump, you know, really, before they crush it, I would like to get out there and take as many parts as possible. But, you know, it's too hot out here to do it in the heat of the day. So we're gonna try to go out there tomorrow, and yes, I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Um, we're gonna head out around probably eight o'clock in the morning, 7.30, eight o'clock in the morning, get out there while it's still nice and cool. Um, aside from that, if you noticed, the van was missing. I've had a lot of people asking, where is the Chevy Astro? Well, we sold the Chevy Astro, so let's talk about that. All right, so I've got the file on the Chevy Astro right next to me here. We had, after everything was said and done, we had $1,587.95 invested into the Astro. I sold it for $2,200 cash money. That's a profit of $612.05. I know it's been a while since we made a profit on the channel, so hey, I don't want you to give me a thumbs up on the video for that. Um, but I'm thrilled to say we made a profit of $612.05 and it required such minimal things like a radiator cap, um, some refrigerant for the uh, air conditioning, a Schrader valve, um, and I think that's pretty much all we put into it. We, that thing really didn't need much of anything. So we made a profit on the van. So I know you guys have been waiting for a while now to find out about the Astro van. Uh, sorry it took me so long. I've been really busy. I mean, I've got, I've got enough video content to probably keep me busy for a few days now, and it's already recorded, and I still have more work to do. Um, we made a profit on the van. I'm very happy about that. I think it was a reasonable profit. Um, the Prius, we got a lot done to it. There's more to do. And I think we're just going to close out with that um, because I have so much more stuff to get done. We're just going to leave it at that. I appreciate, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. I'm exhausted. I've been out in the heat all day. I'm very tired. I'm just exhausted. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this content. Please give this video a thumbs up. I have literally been working my ass off for the last several days um, on the video content that is coming in the near future. Um, don't thumbs down this one. <laughs> I literally have been working really hard to produce all this content for you guys, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, comment below. Tell me what you think. Stay safe out there. I'll catch you soon in the next one.